I think that, that that's what really sets the oak gin apart. This gin is Eden Mill Original, which is quite a light gin. Uh, in sort of a London dry style with a lot of citrus and the, uh, the, the, the buckthorn and the juniper forward coming, coming through, so it's quite a light style. But while the same as we have the really light style, it's not quite the key botanicals no. because really the, the oak is the showpiece with the vanillas and the cinnamons and the sort of oaky flavours that are coming through underneath and I think that, that that's what really sets the oak gin apart, yeah. the, the combination of both flavours yeah. and they don't really overtake one another. You get a lot of, uh, sort of sweeter spice from the from the oak um, sitting sitting over the lighter gin botanicals, the lighter gin flavours. So you're picking up sort of sweet spice like cinnamon, and a little bit of vanilla. Yeah, and then I think you pick up also that kind of oaky finish, a little bit of the oaky bitterness, which leads into the juniper, which um, keeps that complexity of the oak in it, but it's still a super light drinkable gin. So I think the, the super interesting thing about the, the oak gin palette is that you get the juniper flavors up front which give way to the sweet cinnamon spice and the sort of uh, oaky flavors that round out the end of it, mm. which make it super interesting in that combination of gin and whiskey. Yeah, which makes, I mean, it makes it very versatile. It means that, you know, you can enjoy it as uh, an aperitif or an afternoon drink, as a longer drink with a mixer, but it, it sits just as well if you want a lighter option as a digestive by itself over ice or something like that. Yeah. I mean, it's one of our favorite gins as distillers, um, I think because of, because of its versatility. So for me, just straight by itself, over ice with maybe just a couple of dashes of aromatic or ginger bitters is the way I like it. Again, you know, a lighter option for an evening drink. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love it as a hot toddy. So like some lemon, some honey in it, a little warm it up a little bit, like a really traditional hot toddy, but you have all that, that the juniper bitterness in it. Yeah. It makes a really interesting drink as well. Oh, nice, yeah. yeah. Which, it, again, it goes back to that, that juniper gin and the whiskey and the whiskey staves and all the flavor marriage, and I think that's the super interesting thing about that gin in general. Yeah.